This is our, our thumbnail collection, and, and mineral collectors have different uh, different names for certain sizes of minerals. Um, what I've been calling hand specimen actually can range up to you know quite large pieces, and then there are toenails and these are thumbnails, so we don't have any toenails, at least not collected together. So this is an example of a thumbnail, this size box, and some mineral collectors prefer collecting specimens of this size. I think it's easier to get very fine crystals in smaller sizes. And then the next step down is micromount, which I'll show you later. But um, we have a, a wonderful thumbnail collection, and it came largely in one donation in the year 2000. Um, so, so a lot of these are from the same donor, but and her, and her goal, this donor, was to have a piece of everything. So just because they're a little bit smaller does not make them any less valuable. In fact, since so, there are so many rare minerals and rare localities in this thumbnail collection, we actually use it a lot. And we love it because you can get a lot of minerals in a smaller space since we have space and storage issues, um, we actually really, really love the small specimens because we can actually fit them into the room and keep track of them. So they're, they're fantastic. And they're, again, it's a world, this is worldwide. We have them arranged alphabetically, mostly because they came that way and we like to keep, as, as we've been adding to the collection, we just keep it in an alphabetical arrangement and that works just fine. So there are about 10,000 of them in total. And again, they, they don't take up a lot of space. So. This is just perfect for us. So you can see, this is azurite. You can get a lot of specimens and a lot of localities represented in just a small space. So again, these are just really wonderful. Compare uh, one from Namibia, one from Morocco. And one of my recent projects has been to get this thumbnail collection fully cataloged, and we've done a pretty good job. I hire students from USC across the street to help catalog, and we've gotten through, I think we're at the letter T. So we're actually almost done cataloging the thumbnail collection, which is really great. More drawers, you can see they're mostly full. This is a lot of minerals. This is a great one. Beautiful acanthites. Look at how pretty they are. When a mineralogist emails us looking for something rare, this collection is often where I find it. About 10,000, a little more than 10,000 actually. The micromounts, we have 100,000. We just have a place in our, in our database where we can designate the size of a specimen and we have thumbnail because they're always in this size of box. We don't need to put measurements in. It's like, you know, if it's a thumbnail, you know how big it is. And we, we don't remount them either because they're usually so well mounted, you know, they're, they're really, they're glued down and, and they're very well protected. And sometimes this little plastic box also provides some protection from the environment, humidity, and these seem to hold up pretty well. This is the smallest. This is a micromount, and it's this size box. It's hard to see the specimens. They're actually meant to be viewed under a microscope, and we have approximately 100,000 of these in our collection, and we would love to have more. Um, they're our favorites because they're so small and easy to store. We get a lot of material. We get a lot of new localities we didn't have and a lot of minerals we didn't have in the collection. These are fun. This is, these are gold micromount specimens. Mostly from California. This is a really great opportunity to see a range of crystal habits of one mineral again of gold. So these are beautiful. It's an example. You can really see the beautiful crystal forms. These same specimens, if they were larger, would be obviously incredibly expensive and difficult for us to acquire, but they're beautiful, even small. Just how many, just how many specimens that we have. Since these are, for the most part, not cataloged, 
people really do have to email us directly to ask what is in this collection. And, um, but we have got them all alphabetized and organized, so it is just a matter of running up here, pulling open the drawer, and I'll know whether or not we have a particular mineral or locality in the collection. But it will eventually be incorporated into our main database.